Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Let It Die. In a previous episode we just defeated the second mid-boss of the game and we're heading onwards, however they've stopped our retreat with a trapdoor. That's something that will happen in certain areas of the game. There will be trapdoors blocking your further progress in some directions. And this floor seems to have a good amount of snails on it. Hello. So snails can be your healing items of choice if you come across many of them and you have a fire damaging weapon on you, like the fire launcher. You can go ahead and cook the snails. delicious fast food meal. I'm gonna kill this one though. Squish. Because I still haven't discovered the snail shroom. Snail shroom. Flame electric poison no effects for 60 seconds and it stacks. So that's an interesting mushroom. Very helpful. Gonna go ahead and check that out. So it looks like a mouse's tail actually, but it's a snail shroom. And if you eat this, it will make your fighter immune to flame, electric and poison. So you can just run around in the poison and it will have no effect on you. Which is fantastic. So you can also pick up snails bring them with you for later use. You can bring them to cook or you can bring them to, to the feet. Or you can use uh, the snails for poison eater healing, which we're going to do in the future. So our buff duration on the top left of the screen is under half. So in a minute we'll be no longer immune to poison. Just gonna, I'm going to cook this one cook you. The next snail. Here, you can have him. Enjoy. Let's have a little look around, see if there's any resources on this floor that we can pick up. Anything at all? Nothing over here? Nope. What is up with this floor? Seems like a really short. Oh no. The uh, it continues this way. Okay. Take care of you. Do I have enough? I think I've got enough snails for healing. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. Heart room. Don't bother with that. I should be defeating these enemies using a different weapon because we've already got the metal bat fully upgraded in uh, mastery. Oh, here's our first bone tuber. Hello. So these guys are quite the tough enemies early game. Probably I'd say they're one of the tougher types. So what you can do to deal with them is you can keep your distance, wait for them to do one of their attacks and then counter attack. They'll always be open to attack uh, just after they've done an attack. Or a dash for that uh, for that instance. They're open to counter attacks after dashing as well. Now if you try and attack them while they're doing nothing, they will guard for a perfect guard. You can't break. So always wait for them to make the first move and counter attack when they're open for a counter attack. Because if they're not doing anything, they'll always perfect guard your attacks. And it can be super annoying. Waste oil. 
I believe I need a lot of that. Hello. Just a scratch tuber. Just on the scratch. We probably got way more healing items on us than we'll ever need. So knowing that you can cook snails on the on the fly and that you can that you can neutralize snails by getting close to them and picking them up really uh, really makes this part of the game much easier than it would otherwise be because I played through this uh, part of the game uh, on my main account and I had no idea you could do anything about these snails I thought they were just uh, like something to watch out for but uh, knowing that you can you can neutralize them, you can pick them up, you can use fire to cook them, to have healing items available, then uh, it really makes this part of the game much easier. Hello? This is the curious thing. I think this is a oil only floor. That would be good to know. Wow, I take a lot of damage from that. Turret. Gonna heal up a little. Whoa. Oil. Wait for the turret. Off we go. So we're looking for. I'd say we're going for the blue escalator up. That seems to be going to a elevator floor. The white attack head. Already have it. Yep, it seems like this floor is oil only. Interesting. Good farming spot. Go ahead and eat the snail shroom. Be immune to poison. Road trucker. Damn it game. And damn it RNG. You're giving me blueprints I already have. So we can go up that way, but I'd like to find the other route and see if we can't go that way instead. Because this green elevator, uh, escalator up, will take us to a uh, side floor, while the other one will take us to a main elevator floor. Nope. The valve to open the gate is on the other side, so we're going to have to come down from the opposite direction to sort that out. We got more than enough healing items on us, all kinds of resources, enough weapons to kill anything that moves. I think we're good. We'll get there. It is something to keep in mind though, if you're taking on the uh, the first, well, the second mid boss, that you're going to have quite a climb ahead of you after the boss as well. So you'll have to bring a bunch of resources enough resources to defeat the boss and to continue climbing upwards afterwards 
because it seems like we're going to have to do at least three floors to get to another elevator. So this next floor is locked as well, but I believe it'll be locked from this side, so we should be able to make progress. New quests unlocked again, and a new mail. I know, I know. They got cool looking equipment. Good luck trying to get it off them. Our first encounter with the jackals. I forgot that was here. Okay, from this moment onwards we're gonna have to worry about the jackals hunting us. But we'll read about them in the Rolodex, I'm sure. Check that out. Okay, more fighters for sale. Well, again? Okay, even more fighters for sale. Okay, so we've just unlocked even more fighters. I'm gonna have to do a video about that in a minute. Uh, let's see. Jackals. Dear Senpai, it's me. Watch out for those jackals just now. They're dispatched by the Sunflower Ceremony Company. You've probably seen already, but uh, they retrieve corpses as well as stealing equipment from uh, for the black market. They cause a lot of problems for fighters in the tower, out of control. Oh, Majin's fought them lots of times, so you might be able to learn something from him. I think Mother Barb's in the arcade has a video on them as well, so check it out. Not to be weird or anything, but you know that girl in their group? Yeah, to be honest, I kind of have a thing for her. The dangerous charm has appeal, don't you think? Maybe it's the whole masked beauty thing. Ah, uh, whatever. Sorry about that. Well, later. Okay, so that's our first introduction with the jackals in the game. Now, they're a whole thing uh, to keep in mind and uh, a whole new level of difficulty in the game. Now, they'll show up on levels that you've completed if you uh, spend too long completing a level, then the jackals will show up and kick your ass. So I believe we're on a uh, cloth only floor. The uh, Metakoya, good place to farm all kinds of uh, cotton, leather, silk. Okay, be that way. Have we come across you guys yet? The bullet troopers. I don't think we've seen those yet either. Or have we? No, I don't think that we have. So yeah, I think we've seen almost every type of tuber at this point. Checking for blueprints. So there's a bunch of robots in the game. You've got the uh, bullet tubers which we've just taken out one of. They kind of look a bit like Jindai. They also have lasers. And they start off green, they turn yellow, and eventually red, meaning they're fully charged, and they'll be, uh, hey. And uh, they'll start firing. And they can be pretty devastating. They can do a lot of armor damage. Oh, thank you. 
probably got way too many fluffy fungus on us now. This flower, uh, this floor is also pretty good for farming scratch tutors. It's a really good floor in general. The uh, eight floor Metacoya. So I think we're gonna have to get rid of some of our mushrooms and healing items. In fact, I'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of some of these right now. I'm uh, not gonna get rid of you yet, you might be rare. Way too many healing snails. Get rid of a couple of you, in fact almost all of you. Okay, so we've got a green escalator up. I would check that. Oh, new blueprint, nice. Now I'm not going to take this, uh, this escalator up, because I know where it leads. It leads to a dead end floor, which can sometimes spawn the Hyakofunsha uh, Wandering Store. So I'm not going to go up there now, for the main reason will be that I don't want all of these enemies that we just defeated to respawn and make it harder for us to go to the floor we're looking for, which is the golden escalator up, leading us to progress, the uh, elevator. A steel axe, don't mind if I do. Where are you going? Okay, so there's a bit of parkouring going on in this level. Got a couple of fire sources over here. Some boxes blocking the way. There can often be a treasure chest under this box on the side against the wall, but it's not here this time. So this floor is really good for farming all kinds of materials, in fact it's one of the, I'd say if you'd farm, if there's be any floor that you'd farm out for all kinds of stuff, I'd say Metacoya has you sorted for a lot of various, for various things. The uh, Wolverine tubers, you can farm for their metals, you can farm the scratch tubers. You can farm the bullet tubers. There's some more bullet tubers over there. And of course, uh, the floor is cloth. It's a fiber only type floor. So you'll find only cloth on the floor. So if you're looking for leather or silk in uh, high amounts, you'll be set with uh, farming this floor. There are other uh, cloth only floors. So this is a good one for other things. Okay, so charging up the laser. When she's fully charged, she'll go ahead and shoot a barrage. Oh, come on. Follow me over here. Okay. So charging up the laser and then firing a devastating machine gun burst. And you don't want to get hit by that. Not only does it do damage, it also does a lot of points of armor breakage. So yeah, if you like your armor and don't want to lose it, don't get hit by the bullet tubers, or at least don't let them charge up. Hey hey! Oh no! We set off a trap. Now, interestingly enough, this trap will, from now on, uh, automatically set off every time we come to this place. The gates won't drop down, but the gauntlets of tuber uh, of uh, screamers will spawn one at a time every time we enter the floor. Okay, thank you. There, we've taken them all out. 
And we can go ahead and unlock this. And this is a one-time only locked trap. So next time you come here, this thing won't lock like it does, but it will. The screamers will spawn from these uh, from these holes in the walls. Off we go. So we're heading up to a very small floor, Nashio Gucci. Now the reason I know these two floors this well is because it's one of the uh, kill coin farming routes I prefer. New quests have been unlocked again, or is that still the same message we've all previously received? This floor is a copper only floor, so if you'll need copper, seems like a, quite a good farming place. So you start off at Nashio Gucci, Metakoya, and Daneda, which seems to be oil only. So you've got a copper, oil, and cloth only floors, all uh, in quick succession. I'm not gonna be able to beat you without weapons, am I? Plonk. Just gonna have a quick look around, see if there's anything we can do. So we can unlock the route to the next floor. We're on floor nine, so Omeno Soto. Yes, we're making some really quick progress now. Is this a crush room? I'll take it. Okay, we've got a little bit of time left. I think we'll check out the new fighter types that we've unlocked. Just quickly set this elevator straight. Hello, let me in. Uh, so we've got another main elevator unlocked, head back down to the waiting room. And of course you can see, the higher you get, the more kill coins it costs every trip up. So it'll be costing us 1080 kill coins to get back to this elevator next time. Goins. At this point, I think I'll hold back on quests until we've reached the next le uh, the next area in the game. And we've gotten past floor ten, so we're gonna be pushing through, getting to floor eleven as quick as possible, and then we may refocus on these lower level quests. But I'm not sure. I may be moving away from quests in general as we continue. Uh, let's see. Let's got some blueprints. Gonna get the. Yeah, just gonna deposit everything I'm not gonna be using. Alright. Check out what these blueprints are. Get them uh, detected, discovered checked out huh? you've got something nice there, ain't you? hey jungle machete huh? nice road choker well. good job there buddy 
Now we've got the jungle machete available to us. I'm gonna go ahead and learn it. I'm gonna continue to upgrade the fireworks launcher just cuz. I've got way too many resources of that type. And what else have we got? I think that'll be it. Um, the iron hammer, might as well bring that to plus four. Iron scraps and clump of copper. We now have a floor available to us, which is a copper only floor, floor nine. And we've got a floor available to us, which is iron only, which is floor four. So we could farm this easily, so I'm going to upgrade it. Now I'm holding back on upgrading things that cost veneer plank because I don't know any good uh, wood only floors for the early game, unfortunately. Come back anytime. Okay, got a bunch of things that I can sell. I'm going to store the steel axe, which will come in handy in a minute. Hello. A masterpiece has been born. Go ahead and upgrade it. Should I upgrade it? No, I'm going to leave it for now. I will buy one, however, so I can start leveling it. Buy another metal bat, some armor, and that'll do. Come back so that's a fresh set of gear, ready to take on the next big challenge, I'd say. Gonna, yeah, there we go. I've got these parasol shrooms to sell, but first, gonna check out the new uh, the new classes available to us. So far, all of our fighters have been all-rounders. I can purchase a new fighter. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, and select this fighter. So they'll be removed from the defensive roster. We're gonna get rid of a couple of fighters now and replace them with uh, other fighter types. settings deployed uh, okay that's gonna be an issue so we'd created another a yeah we created a level one all-rounder but I think we're gonna get rid of you to make you something else we we'll use the same uh, character model there. 